சிவாயனமன் திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் டிஸ்காஷன் ஆன் திருப்பாட்டு வி ஆர் கண்டினியூ அவர் டிஸ்காஷன் ஆன் வன் பார்த்தான் பனங்காட்டூர் பதிகம் இன் திஸ் வி ஆர் கண்டினியூயிங் வித் த எய்த் வேர்ஸ் அகேன் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் வேர்ஸ் நாட் டு பி மிஸ்ட் லெட்ஸ் லுக் அட் த வேர்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வஞ்சம் மற்ற மனத்தாரை மரவாத பிறப்பிலியை பஞ்சி சீர் அடியாளை பாதம் வை தூகந்தானே மஞ்சுற்ற மணிமாட வன் பார்த்தான் பனங்காட்டூர் நெஞ்ச திங்கள் பீரானை நினையாதார் நினைவென்னே திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் லவ்லி வேர்ஸ் ஹானஸ்ட்லி பிகாஸ் ஹியர் தெர் ஆர் டூ ரெஃபரன்சஸ் ஒன் இஸ் ஹூ இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி ஆல்வேஸ் ரிமம்பர்ட் பை லார்ட் ஷிவா அண்ட் ஹவு கேன் வி ஆல்வேஸ் ரிமம்பர் லார்ட் ஷிவா ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் ஃப்ரம் டூ பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ஸ் Let's look at this verse. He says the first line itself he says when our heart our mind our thoughts are clear without any kind of you know we we have this vengeance we have this revengefulness we have this sorrow we have this kind of uh, you know sometimes we just keep mumbling about something we keep murmuring about something all those must be just away from our heart our heart must be as pure as possible as pure as a crystal when we are having a clear heart clear thoughts clear mind lord shiva will always be remembering us does it mean that he will forget the remaining of us obviously no imagine if he had forget uh, if he if he can forget us i don't think we would have at least i would i don't think i would have been in this position to even recite his name so if you look at it we have been going through we have been through a lot of births we have been uh, through a lot of uh, uh, situations a lot of uh, you know desired and undesired situations uh, whatever it is but but when you look at it end of the day have we repent the repentfulness is more important are we crying wholeheartedly saying that please forgive me the moment we are able to do that lord shiva will be there to embrace us and he will when he embraces us uh, embrace embraces us what is going to be our what is going to be our benefit right obviously we are going to break down this vicious cycle of birth and death why because someone who is not caught in that particular whirlpool only that person can uh, help us in getting rid of our uh, vicious cycle as well imagine if i want to just trim up my body and i'm going to a gym when i go to a gym and i see a very obese person who's actually the gym master a very obese person and full of flabby uh, uh, muscles and all these and he doesn't have any muscles rather it's all flabby skin everywhere do you think i'll have the confidence to just go and get trained under him obviously no same thing if i want to go to a beauty parlor i need to look at the person who's who's there have they groomed themselves well if they have not groomed themselves well how will i go and have the confidence to groom myself there so basically we need to build the confidence and lord shiva has all those he is out of this birth and death cycle he doesn't be he's not going to be born when he is not going to be born that is what we call it as a god he because he's omnipotent and omnipresent now when we talk about uh uh, uh, uh surrendering ourselves completely to such a person only then we can be pure hearted and we can get rid of this birth and death cycle how is lord shiva able to do that not alone but along with his consort because arul is very very important for him to give us the grace because grace is what we are talking about his consort right when you, when we talk about the consort it is not the physical physical uh, the ethereal body that we are talking about rather it is the capability so we are talking about the potential and the kinetic energy that is what shiva and parvati is all about right so when we talk about how is he going to give us the grace through the grace that he has 
that is what we call it as the Ardhanarishwara uh, form which is half male half female so as part of the Ardhanarishwara uh, 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 position he is there to give us grace and then the next statement he says is the place is so filled with rich wealthy uh, buildings and the buildings are so tall and high that even we are able to see clouds passing through if even today uh, we, we are able to witness that if we are residing in a very tall building we will be able to feel the clouds coming into our rooms and all these we would have seen this in a couple of places when you talk about high-rise buildings we will be able to feel this and that's quite normal right now because we are able to see the high-rise buildings but are we able to see this back then in the 9th, 7th and 8th century according to this song yes they had a tall and high buildings that even the uh, clouds could pass through and in that particular place called as one Parthan Panangatu Lord Shiva is residing and when you talk about Lord Shiva we need to think about him if we don't think about him then whatever thoughts we have in our mind is of no use the moment you say you, your thoughts it must only be of be, uh, it must be only uh, uh, be Lord Shiva whatever thoughts what else we have in mind it's of no use that is what today's verse is all about so there are two things as I was mentioning earlier one is Lord Shiva will be thinking of someone who is having a pure heart how to achieve the pure heart only when we keep thinking about him our heart and thoughts will be pure so it's like a chicken and egg kind of a situation but at the same time we need to go through one at a time this is also a vicious cycle we need to think of him so that he can think of us so we need to start practicing our minds towards this particular journey i'll come back again with the next verse very soon until then sivayanamai trichitrambalam